Brown Strength Will Rise as performed by my friend Richard White. I'm Mike Tobin for the Michael Tobin Show in the category of California and U.S. Issues. It is May 26, 2016, and the title of today's show is Presumptive GOP nominee Donald Trump, Friday, May 27, San Diego rally before and after. As previous Trump rallies have produced, there have been little arrests and much violence. But the focus on today's program is no violence is big news for San Diego. And San Diego Police Department Chief Shelly Zimmerman it is her time and the time for San Diego's police department to shine because as she has indicated San Diego will not tolerate any violence C-SPAN will be airing the rally starting at 5 p.m. tomorrow and it will be aired internationally globally and as reported in the San Diego Union Tribune, taken from yesterday's article and updated today, San Diego Police Chief Shelley Zimmerman said law enforcement will be able to respond to any sort of incident. The department is familiar with creating plans for all kinds of large gatherings from Comic-Con to political demonstrations. The contingency plan that we have in place is going to allow for a safe environment and if anyone chooses to do something otherwise, we're confident that our contingency plan can address those few individuals who don't choose to follow the law, she said. Others are concerned whether law and order will be maintained. I am concerned. I had heard from a police spokesman that the police have been asked to stand down, said hotel developer Doug Manchester, one of the organizers of the rally and a Trump delegate to the Republican National Convention this summer. Why should the demonstrators be allowed to go onto the public streets and demonstrate when it blocks the Hyatt, the Marriott, the Hilton, and other businesses in downtown, said Manchester, the former owner of the Union Tribune. It prevents businesses to do transactions like on a normal basis. As of Wednesday, about 20,000 people had signed up on a Trump website indicating that they plan to attend, Manchester said. He said, many will have to be turned away, although there's no way of knowing whether all will show up. Well, that last statement, no one knows whether all of the ticket holders will show up, is repetitive to each and every other Trump rallies which we know from watching the events that they have all been sellouts and many have been turned away in a report from Fox News if I could get this up I want to read from a uh, a paragraph in it that they used a pretty interesting word about the Anaheim Convention. During an appearance at the Anaheim Convention Center this afternoon, some attendees hurled bottles at police and others tried to climb over a barrier, prompting police to declare an unlawful assembly and begin attempts to disperse the crowd. At least two people were taken into custody. And that is a point that I want to make. All the recent Trump rallies, there have been little arrest and much violence. And I'm going to leave with this, that tomorrow on the 27th at the Donald Trump rally, I am predicting that there will be quite a few arrests. And that will be... Uh, unique to all the rest of the Trump rallies and I, I believe there won't be, will not be any injuries but there will be um, several if not quite a few arrests thank you very much for listening I'm Michael Tobin have a wonderful day